Good morning, sunshine. It's a new day. It's actually Saturday. So, slept well. And uh, I'm going to take a selfie or two before we head out. <laughs> Nana's still getting dressed. And uh, Kareem is on the phone with his brother, Khalid. What's cool is my kids have like a conference call every every uh, Saturday regardless of what's going on in their lives so they started doing this on their own and so big brother Khalid is you know the supportive mentor and they all basically check in so that's pretty cool so anyway so we are planning to go to a cafe today uh, Bashir wants to take us to this cafe, this cute cafe that I saw or that he saw first and I thought, yeah, really pretty. Um, lots of flowers, you know, it's got that sort of cottage core feel and uh, we're going to go check it out later as soon as everyone gets dressed. So in the meantime, I'm going to pass the time taking some selfies. You can see my little phone set up here and I travel with this. It's very light. This holds the phone. Um, phone camera and I've got my little remote right here and so I can stand and take pictures without anyone's assistance because I have this and it's so cute you just press the button and it's connected to your phone by Bluetooth and snap away Good afternoon, Good Barbara Ann. <laughs> About to head out finally. You saw that creature beaver that was over there? Oh my God. What creature? We freaking out. It, it, it was up there and then Kareem knocked it down. Creature a bee? No, it was a big it green. Like a giant grasshopper. All right, so yeah, I'm waiting for you to come down to show us your outfit of the day. <laughs> mm, so what are we wearing? What designer is that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what is that? It looks swell. It looks, I don't know, almost looks like a leaf. Right. Isn't it? It looks like a leaf. I'm getting pretty close. Random country ass things that you got over here. Trying to scare me. For a million dollars, Kareem. For a million dollars. A grasshopper? Does it look like a grasshopper to you? You mean that? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and grab it. Go ahead and grab it. Just pick it up. No, why are you flicking it? Pick it up. Why, Why would you? This wasn't off before. It was. Stop changing the Just subject. Just stop changing the subject. subject. Right. Look at right. I, I could pick it up. So, so pick it up. I don't want to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't want to. It's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, okay, then pick it up. I don't mind picking pick it up. So, <laughs> stop <laughs> talking about you don't mind Never picking it up. <laughs> Where are you going? You want to use a stick? That's a good idea. No, but then if you just flick it, it's just going to fly. No, it doesn't, it doesn't fly. Yeah, it doesn't fly? No, when we flicked it, it just jumped down. See? The thing it is looks, it looks like, like a moth. It looks like a leaf. Yeah, it looks almost like a moth. Kind of hopped a little bit, right? Yeah, it's hopping. Okay, Nana's the moth whisperer now. She got it on a stick. I hope it runs quickly up her head. Yeah, I hope it runs up your stick onto your arm. Oh, that's all right. So Nick, the only thing I am afraid of is mouse. Okay? That's mouse? It. A mouse. <laughs> Mice. <laughs> a mouse. A mouse. We're going in like we're going into Middleton. Sometimes when we drive I feel like I'm in Kansas or something, you know. <laughs> really some feels. Yeah. Welcome to Kansas. <laughs> we're not in Kansas anymore. So Bashir is taking us into town to a cafe. Um, we haven't eaten, so we're looking forward to eating at this cafe. It's a beautiful day, as you can see. The skies are so blue, cute little houses. It's hard to imagine that this is actually New York, right? 
I mean, it is very country up in the mountains and it looks like pretty much any small town in America, nothing like New York City. Anyway, we have arrived at our cafe. Let's see what it looks like. I like these flowers. Oh yeah, these are petunias. What? Alrighty. Let go. Since this is our first time here, we're wondering what the dress code is, and I'm assuming it's casual. So as you can see, pretty uh, chill, laid back vibe in here. Um, very sort of family friendly, small town vibe. And they have a lot of typical breakfast and lunch type things on the menu. Sandwiches, uh, pita bread, uh, eggs, bacon, you know, stuff like that. Do you like your, do you like your sweet? That's so cute. I like that. Look at that. So cute. I don't do coffee. Look, they have blueberry. That's carrot cake, and I don't know what this is, but that looks good. That looks good. So, Bashir got low fat turkey wrap. Let's see, let me turn it around. I, I, I place more with that. Did you ask for a uh, Just bacon, eggs, and the hash browns. What's in yours, Nana? Arugula. That's all I remember. Arugula. Oh, okay. Okay, so that was a decent meal. I'll give it about, mine I'll give about a, a five, six out of ten. Was edible. No, we're gonna see a different vibe. Okay, we're gonna see a different vibe, vibe according to Bashir. I've yeah. never had wine? I went on a wine tour. Like Kareem. I oh, Kareem, yeah, that. maybe Kareem. So I said, oh, we're going to the winery. Oh, I was thinking, oh, we have wine at home. But then I said, oh, we're on our way to a winery. You can get a, he said, but that's only a little thing. I said, that's only a little thing you need. <laughs> My favorite was the May wine. The number five, or oh, we didn't get number five. Are you a red wine person or a white wine? Red wine. Red, red, red. red wine's like dessert, right? Yeah. yeah. It's I usually like, sweet. I like sweeter wine. Well, but white. it could be dry too, right? Actually, the old wine we bought was white. <laughs> In the end, they were wrestling. So it's a long drive to the winery, and on our way, we made a quick detour, quick stop. Huh? Oh. So we're at a church called St. Mary's and Bashir has all these clothes he's trying to donate so we happen to be driving and saw this donation center. So here's the parking lot we're just coming out of. Of course it's not Sunday so the parking lot is empty and that's the church that has the donation center over there. We don't know the church, not affiliated with the church. We just needed a place to donate the clothes. <laughs> Brotherhood America's oh, oldest, oh. oldest, what is it? Wine winery. So we've arrived at Brotherhood Winery, America's oldest winery established in 1839. They're located in Washingtonville, New York. It is bright, 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 bright. When I tell you it is bright out here. So many cars, so many vehicles. I mean, it, yeah, this is my first year. Mm-hmm. Um, all electric. And these are the grapes, right? Right. Process. We signed up for the appointment when we go through with the tour. Uh-huh. Every step of the power winemaking process they would show you if you were on the tour. 
Where is Nana? She's all the way out there. She's trying to get out the sun. It's giant. Mm -hmm. Nice places to sit down and picnic. One testing, tasting, tasting for customers. You don't get the appeal. Some people are really into wine, so, you know. Okay, okay, we're paying attention. So, <clears throat> number one is a sparkling Chardonnay, so it's dry, okay? Okay. Number two is a sparkling Spumante. It's like Pazzi Spumante, it's Moscato grape, so it's sweet. Number three is a sparkling rosé, so it's a rosé wine and it's, it's sparkling. So one, two, and three are all sparkling with only number two being the sweet one, okay? Number four is a May wine. Our May wine is a strawberry and water wine. It is very sweet. It's like a Jolly Rancher, a strawberry Jolly Rancher. Mm. You might like that, Kareem. Yeah. So he's, I already know what he's doing. <laughs> French rosé, which okay. is dry but not overwhelmingly dry, so it's nice, it's smooth on the palate. Number six is a dry Riesling. Seven is a hashtag Bay Riesling. Bay. It's different from the Brotherhood Riesling. Brotherhood Riesling is Finger Lakes grapes. This Riesling is semi-sweet, but it's grapes from Washington State. Alright, so that, I think you're going to like that one, because it's sweet. I love New York. It's a Merlot, a Cabernet, and a Bach Noir grape all blended together. So it is a dry red table wine. It's good with pizza, pasta, cheeses, or just to have. Mm -hmm. So Kareem, there might be stuff here you might like. So after the verbal lesson, we got to sit down and then decide which five wines each of us would like to try. Now, since, you know, there are four of us and there are roughly about 12 um, options given to us, we just decided, why don't we just try all of them? You know, instead of taking three different ones each, let's just, you know, together try 12. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me get you. So we got four. So we got a little pager, and they'll call us when our samples are ready. And then tell us complimentary. Got complimentary wine glasses. Let's see what's in there. Some. What are these? Like oyster crackers? Yeah. Can't eat them anymore, but yeah, they go on like soup, clam chowder. Yeah. In the green, in the greenhouse, in the Queens, we had a big bowl sitting on Nana's red bar. <laughs> right. It was full. It was oh yeah. Filled with these because she was bringing them home all the time. Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> I had a little trouble interpreting your marks. <laughs> I only picked one, two, three. Oh, oh, ah. That's why. Ah, that would be part of it. So, you wanted two more or you just want those two more? Those three. Um, well, I guess I can get Pick two, two more. more. Yeah. Sure. Uh, number seven. Number seven. And number twelve. Aviva. Yeah, look at mine, all the red sweet ones. So we collect our wines and we go back to our table and we get to try it while reading the descriptions to see if it matches. So you can see what dry tastes like. Nay, yeah, because it's dry. This is number two. This is number one. This is number one? Yeah, we're gonna go number two. Oh. So that was Carpe Diem, which is supposed to be sweet, has perfumed aromas of mandarin orange, ripe pear, sweet Meyer or lemon, orange blossom, and honeysuckle. <laughs> I like talking and explaining. <laughs> 
Okay, this is number two. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, it's sweet. It's nice. It's better than number one? It's better than number one. It's, yeah. You know the best wines I've had. I really don't normally like wine. Mm -hmm. I could actually drink this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like number two. Oh, all right, that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I must start acting nuts, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, number three is sparkling rosé. Shiny and pale rosewood um, in color. The nose displays notes of raspberry, gooseberry, and citrus fruits with creamy hints. What the hell is creamy hints? Pseudo dry. I don't know what you Sweet is sweet. Yeah, I know it's sweet. A dry right. is like That's vinegar. The first one. Very unsweet. Oh, like in the middle. It's not as sweet as the second one. Uh -huh. Oh, so number two is actually yeah, tastes number better. Yeah, number two tastes Num better. It's still the best. Yeah, so far. Best, but I still don't like them. Okay. Try it number two. Again, number two. Yeah, I don't like this one. I don't like this one. That's it, that's it. That's the first one I don't like. So, sparkling rosé, that's a no. This, this is like it. Strawberry, it's sweet. It's like a Jolly Rancher almost. Yeah, it's like Jello shots. Oh, we haven't seen Bashir. Yeah? What's this one called? May wine. May wine. Dry Riesling. This surprisingly dry white wine offers bright aromas of fresh lime, tropical fruit, and has a light mineral quality. Very crisp, with the mouth-watering taste of Granny Smith apples. It is well balanced with a lingering finish. Right. No, I'm not gonna like it. I already know I'm not gonna like it. Oh, it's very nice. Number seven, right? Number seven. Yeah, it's supposed to be sweet. Is it sweet? It's not that sweet. It says, I didn't say it was better than six, but I don't know. I, still, I don't like that one either. But in comparison, yeah, in comparison, it's better. But but is it better than two? No. And better than four. It's not better than four. No, nothing. Nothing's beat four yet. Nothing's beat four yet. You want to try it, honey? I have. Oh, seven. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Okay, so we haven't done that yet. Oh, yeah. okay. I think the six is the same thing. Yeah, they look the same. Oh, tastes good. Tastes like juice. Mm. Tastes like juice. Right. Make that taste when you make it. It's like medicine. Sweet medicine. Sweet medicine. Sweet medicine. <laughs> really? Yeah, no, it's a no for me. Alright, number 11 is a BH Merlot, full dry, it has a velvety texture. Yeah, offers full rich aromas, flavors of ripe blackberries and cherry jam, forming a bouquet of fruit and tobacco. Interesting. No, it's a no. It's a flavor of tobacco. Have you tried it? It smells good. It doesn't taste good. Yeah. That worse. You don't think it's good? Yeah, it got worse. I'll take it worse. It tastes like. So this one is very sweet. Uh, late harvest Riesling. The gorgeous golden yellow late harvest Riesling is sweet with a balanced acidity. Apricot, honeysuckle aromas accompanied by a sweet but not cloying taste. What's that? Number two. You guys weren't crazy about it, but I like two. <laughs> that one's not good, right? Thirteen. Four, seven, and thirteen. What about you, Kareem? Kareem's number. Oh, four, seven? Just four. Four, yeah. Seven and thirteen. Okay, four, seven, and this thirteen. Four, I don't even really like four. 
What about you, mommy? Two and four. Two and four. Yeah, I like two and four. Pretty much anything sweet. Um, and 13. The la that last 13, the very sweet. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Does it taste worse than soju? Mariam says what? Does it taste worse than the Korean? <laughs> no, it tastes better. It tastes better than the Korean stuff. He's drinking some water. So after the wine tasting, Bashir picked up a few bottles. And I really enjoyed the experience. Even though we're not big wine enthusiasts, we really enjoyed the experience together. And from a historical perspective, it definitely was a privilege to be in one of the oldest wineries in the United States. Really cool. A cream, so you don't see yourself one day coming in here? No. Okay, bottles in hand. Now we're going to head outside. And it turns out they also have seating for people to eat and just relax with their family. There's live entertainment. It was just such a beautiful day. Really great vibe. Vines on there, right? Isn't that pretty? What? I don't know. Oh, they actually have a musician. Then we decided to take some pictures, which I will try to insert right here. So we're going into their gift shop. Let's see, what do they have? More wine? We'll find out. Oh, stuff, you know. Yeah. Kitchen stuff and cheese boards. Yeah, charcuterie boards, many charcuterie boards. So, yeah, they're cute. They're probably almost more decorative than anything. Napkins. I'm always looking for napkins though. Pretty napkins. What's that? Oh, wow. How do you get that in and out? Interesting. How would you get that in and out? Oh, trickery. Of the trickery. Eye. trickery. So cool. <laughs> trickery. No, these look Succulent. like, yeah, these are fake succulents. <laughs> it looks more, kind of vulgar, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Like Look at these cheese spreaders. Oops, of course you're gonna not knock it over. Okay, okay, you're gonna knock it over. Now you can't balance, you can't balance it over yet. Yeah. Okay, there it is. There it is. So, wine glasses, shot glasses, outfits. Hoodies. <laughs> so this is our view from across the gift shop. It's pretty large grounds. <laughs> yeah, so this is where you come to propose to your lover. Right around this large fountain. Hey, mommy, or maybe if this was in North Carolina, this is where you'll come propose or your future lover comes propose to you. I should be proposing. <laughs> She's progressive, right? You'll be proposing to him. <laughs> We're embarrassing her. <laughs> You're all prude. I know, right? I do like this old stone though. This makes you feel like yeah. you're back in time. Ginormous building. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that there too. Where? Oh yeah, that tree at night must be really pretty. It's all, this one straight ahead in front of me. It's got lights all over it, it's huge. I don't know, it's one, 
Yeah, no, it's one giant it's tree. One tree. Brotherhood gift shop. Since 1839. They have a chapel too, so you really could get married up here. Okay, bye bye. So after trying to back out, we're heading home and it may not look like it but there are a lot of cars there and so it kind of is a challenge trying to back out anyway we are heading home thank you for the experience brotherhood winery it was great and definitely worth coming here definitely so if you've never been there and you're in the new york area you should definitely check it out I would also like to thank my wonderful brother uh, for hosting us during this trip. We pretty much didn't have to pay for anything. He covered the cost and uh, that was really generous of him because a lot of the things that we did were not cheap. <laughs> so we really appreciate it. And here's impossible. No. Impossible. No. <laughs> <laughs> Kareem's hands are much bigger. Of course they're bigger. If my hands was as big as yours, then I'd be a freak. <laughs> All right? <laughs> or Kareem has tiny hands, <laughs> which he doesn't. So I'm just getting a good look at the yard because it was Saturday that day and Sunday was going to be our last day before we head back to North Carolina. And uh, anyway, Nana's making a shake or smoothie uh, with some strawberries, I believe. So we got some strawberries, some milk in here, and Nana snuck in some ice cream, some boiled corn. I'm trying to figure out whether it's done or not. How long do you think it should go for? Okay. Chilling. Chilling. As you recall, Bashir moved to this house here in the mountains. Uh, in March and I believe he seems to have settled in pretty well right what do you guys think <laughs> him and his big TV <laughs> be careful cheers Thanks for the milkshake, Nana. <laughs> and the um, corn was really good. Yes, I remember it is really delicious. I could use some right now. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog so far. I think I want to end it here. Trying to entice Kareem to dance. <laughs> 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 thank you so much for watching look out for another vlog in the next two days hopefully on sunday yes i promise on sunday um yeah nana's taking us out for a walk you know she gotta show me how fit she is <laughs> but yeah come back soon we'll see Bashir's neighborhood and uh, I don't know what we're getting up to, but it's leading up to us leaving New York. So come back soon and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And I look forward to your comments. Bye!